You're watching Daytime Tea Time with Candace. Daytime Tea Time. Daytime Tea Time. <laughs> no way. Only I'm Candace. in your breasts and that's totally dreaming. Daytime Tea Time. It's time to pour this tea, stir this tea, and sip this tea. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, it's Candace. All right, you see that title, so you already know. We're about to talk about Monique, Lee Daniels, and Dame Dash. Y'all, Dame Dash put Lee Daniels on blast, putting out a secret recorded video of him confronting Lee Daniels at a Diana Ross show at the Hollywood Bowl last week. In the video, he is confronting him for not paying him back two million dollars. Okay, before I get into the details, some people don't really know who Dame Dash and Lee Daniels are, so very quickly I'm gonna tell you who they are. Okay, so Dame Dash was Jay-Z's former manager and business partner at Rockefeller Records, and in 1999 he organized a tour for Jay-Z which made 19 million dollars. They were best friends, business partners, Jay-Z and Dame Dash's relationship actually ended up crumbling when their record label Rockefeller was purchased by Def Jam Records and Jay-Z ended up buying him out of his stake in Rockaware. So they dissolved their business and their friendship. Oh, also Dame Dash was Aaliyah's ex-boyfriend. Y'all know our late great Aaliyah. That was her ex-boyfriend. Okay, so Lee Daniels is a very successful movie director and producer. He's the director of movies like Precious, The Butler, Monsters Ball, and the hit TV shows Empire and Star. Now, like I said, Lee Daniels is the man who produced the movie Precious, starring Monique. And y'all remember, Monique tried to tell us how dirty he was doing her. And he's part of the reason why she's been blackballed and can't get work these days. But we're going to get to that later on in the video. Hold on to that thought about Monique, because we're going to get to it. Okay, so apparently, Damon Dash loaned Lee Daniels $2 million, and he was never paid back. There was actually more money loaned, and he actually had to sue him back in 2014, and they ended up settling. But apparently, he still owes him money, and he's pissed. Dame Dash was so pissed off that he released a video of him confronting Lee Daniels. And you can clearly see that Lee Daniels admits that he's wrong. Look closely, read the subtitles, and try to read his lips. Tell you my opinion let me read the actual caption that he put underneath this video 
Damon Dash said, I straight up loaned this dude, Lee Daniels, $2 million to pay for his dream of becoming a director. It was the money I was using to fund my movies and stay independent. He promised I would get my money back in months. Then he makes Precious and goes missing, so he doesn't have to pay me. Then Butler, Empire, same-ish. Why does this dude feel like he doesn't have to pay me? Why do I have to look crazy to get my money back or go to court? Ask at original Big Daddy. That's Lee Daniels. Ask Lee Daniels why he doesn't feel like he has to pay me even though he has it. What type of ish is this? Hashtag pay what you owe. I'm gonna put this whole video on my IGTV in a few. True definition of a culture vulture. Eats off the culture but robs the culture at the same time. See you back in court, Lee. You're gonna pay me what you owe me. Please, everyone ask him why he doesn't think he needs to pay me. And then, as you can see, he at mentioned TMZ, Van Lathan, The Shade Room, Deadline, World Star, Vogue Magazine, People, Page Six, Oprah, and Halle Berry. And he at mentioned Oprah because Oprah is one of his best friends, and so is Halle Berry because they made the movie Monsters Ball together. Y'all, the plot thickens. He is really wanting his money back. He tagging all of his friends. Listen, y'all, Damon Dash put him all the way out. Okay, so let me tell you my thoughts when I watched the video. When I watched the clip, I was just looking at the fact that Lee Daniels had his hands crossed. He was being super poised and nice, trying to make sure people don't realize that there's a confrontation going on. But Dame Dash did not care. He was all up in his face, as he should have been. Y'all have to understand, Dame Dash is the type of man who is a strong believer in black-owned businesses and black men, black women working for themselves. So the fact that he loaned him $2 million was out of the kindness of his heart because he strongly believes in uplifting and empowering black talent. If you guys get a chance, Google his Breakfast Club interview and then you'll understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that Lee Daniels is clearly a multi-millionaire with all of his successful projects over the last 10 years, you would expect him to pay back a measly $2 million. And I say a measly $2 million because his projects has made so much money. Just speaking on The Butler alone, the 2013 movie The Butler starring Oprah grossed over $100 million and the budget was $30 million. So you tell me he couldn't take $2 million out of that and pay Damon Dash back? Not to mention all the money he makes from Empire and Star, which are still on TV. Lee Daniels definitely has the money. He just being dirty. I'm sorry, Lee Daniels. I'm actually a big fan of yours, but after seeing this, you are very dirty for this. You better come out with a statement and make sure we understand what's going on because I'm definitely giving you the side eye, boo. Okay, y'all. So y'all know I had to mention this. Lee Daniels was the producer of the movie Precious starring Monique and y'all remember Monique tried to put all of us up on game but nobody was listening. Monique tried to tell everybody how dirty he was to her after she won an Oscar for his movie Precious. For those who don't know the details, basically Lee Daniels encouraged her to fly overseas and promote their movie for free. And when Monique refused to work for free, Lee Daniels used his power and his friends to make things harder for her in Hollywood. Tyler Perry was also one who contributed to making things harder for Monique in Hollywood. He ended up confessing that he was wrong and that Monique was right, and he promised to come out publicly and vindicate her, but he never did. So actually, in light of this whole Damon Dash, Lee Daniels $2 million situation, Monique came out today and told everybody to listen to a secretly recorded phone call between her and Tyler Perry. Hey my babies, I want to thank y'all for sharing the love and showing me the videotape with Lee Daniels vindicating Damon Dash. Now I want to give the favor and the love right back to y'all. And I would ask that you go to rollingout.com magazine. And you'll hear Tyler Perry in the audio vindicating not only me, but my husband. Where that brother says we did absolutely nothing wrong and he would come up with it publicly, but he never did. And for the brothers and sisters who are coming in right now tonight saying, Mo, we are sorry for not believing you and bashing you. I want to thank y'all. But someone would ask, if y'all can say y'all are sorry for it, when are the billionaires going to take accountability and responsibility? If I'm not lying on Lee Daniels, and I'm not lying on Tyler Perry. Why ever would I be lying on Oprah Winfrey? Take a listen and see what y'all think.
Okay, y'all, I'm so sorry, but I cannot put that audio in my video, but I do have the link to where you guys can listen to the entire secret conversation. The link is gonna be in the comment section, so click that and listen to Monique and Tyler Perry have their conversation. There's a lot in the conversation where Tyler Perry is definitely acknowledging that Monique was never wrong. So make sure y'all click that link below and listen. All right, y'all, I'm done with this. I need to know what y'all think. What do y'all think about Lee Daniels not paying Damon Dash $2 million? Can you now understand what Monique was saying when she was saying that Lee Daniels was doing her dirty? After seeing the Damon Dash situation with Lee Daniels, do you now believe Monique? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm going to catch you in the next one, alright? Bye.